Hi there, Bonnie Fawcett here with a fresh perspective for you. So today we're going to talk about living in the tension, like living in between two things that seem incompatible. Because what I know today is you might be struggling with balancing all your time and obligations because you want something to be perfect. And I get it. You want it to be perfect before you move on to the next thing. But you also know that focusing on perfection leaves no time for other projects that need to get done, time for your family, or time to do what you love or any of your hobbies or anything like that. So here's your opportunity. Can something be both perfect and in progress at the same time? So I challenge you to think through that. Can something be perfect and in progress at the same time? Because if you can accept that tension and live in that space, that is the secret to more time with your family, more new clients, more revenue, more time to do what you love. So let me tell you a story. I was building an automation one time in software that I was using in my law firm so years ago. And I was building out this complex and very beautiful automation to track all of our attorneys' progress with each of our estate planning clients. We had five attorneys in our firm. I was an attorney full-time, plus also building out software and systems and checklists full-time. So I was building out a beautiful automation, spent a ton of time on it. So I had convinced myself that the only way to have insight into the status of how my attorneys were doing with any of our estate planning clients was to build this big thing. But I want to want to share something with you. How many times did I actually use that thing that I built? Honestly, zero, zero. Because I jumped right into it just thinking, oh, this is it. This is a solution. This is going to get me to the other side. This beautiful complex automation to track all the things. But how many hours did I spend on it? Even though I never used it, I ended up spending probably 25 to 30 hours on it. Most of those hours on a weekend when I wasn't spending time with my family and my children, who I should have been devoting that time to, I had gotten so worked up about this project, what felt like the perfect solution that I went all in on it and ignored everything else. So I want you to consider this framework as you avoid that type of situation, because I don't want that for you. So consider a framework called the progress over perfection spectrum. So it's really just a spectrum on one end is no progress at all. On the other end is perfection, meaning you do it, it's perfect, you never have to touch it again, and it always works exactly how you designed it that one time. So those are the two ends of the, of the spectrum. You're not taking any progress whatsoever, and you're doing everything to perfection on the other end. The reason this spectrum is important is because you don't want to be at one end where you're frozen with fear of creating something, a fear of moving forward with any project, no activity happens there. No forward mo motion happens there. There's no creativity. There's no new clients. There's no money in the door. There's no financial wherewithal to have freedom of time and choices to do what you love. But you also don't want to be at the other end of the spectrum where you start a project and cannot let it go, cannot focus on anything other than only doing that project and doing it to perfection. No matter what comes in the meantime or what your family or other clients might need from you in the meantime, you cannot stop focusing on it. That's the other end. Of the spectrum. So in a way, no activity, at least not forward movement is happening there either because nothing's ever going to be perfect. Surprise, surprise. Your head gets buried in that project being too fearful to walk away because you're thinking it must be perfect in order for you to walk away. And if it doesn't meet your perfection standards, you're not going to do that. So the progress over perfection spectrum is really your gauge to know, like, are you too dangerously close to one end or the other? Because if you are, you want to course correct. You want to get towards back towards the middle where you can focus on getting things done in progress, forward motion, understanding that for that iteration, as of that date, as of that moment is perfect for where it is in that moment. And you can always come back to it and iterate more over time. So now I know what you must be thinking. If it isn't perfect, you're going to lose a client. You're going to miss out on new clients. You're going to have less revenue in the door and you can't afford that. So I know for some of you, that's what's going through your mind. The idea of losing a client just hits you deep, deep down in your gut. You want to avoid that at all costs. But here is what I know. Your clients appreciate your care and your attention first and foremost. And in 99.9% .9 of cases, they don't even know if something is an iterative version versus the perfect version that you have in your head. They just wouldn't even know that. It's just not going to stop them from moving forward and working with you. So maybe you're thinking, I have to perfect the slide deck for a webinar I'm doing to get new clients. I have to perfect some sort of handout or leaflet that I give to prospective clients at a meeting to help them move forward and hire me. Whatever it is that you're thinking you have to perfect Think about it as, is that iteration perfect 
for the moment. That's where you're staying in the middle of that spectrum and not losing perspective on either end. So no one will know that it doesn't meet some level of perfection that's impossible to attain or will take you so many hundreds of hours or years that you can't wait that long to get it in front of someone. The iteration is perfect and there are more iterations to come. So let's do a recap. Right now, you're spending too much time on making something perfect, but deep down you do know Something can be both perfect and in progress at the same time, perfectly in progress, I would call it. So with the progress over perfection spectrum, we can keep an eye out for the two ends of the spectrum and keep an eye out for when we might be dangerously close to one or the other so that we can get balanced again and come back to the middle. So there's so many paradoxes in life like this, you know, perfection versus progress. So what, what else are the paradoxes in life that we all would know and be familiar with? Joy cannot exist without sadness. Relief cannot exist without pain. Compassion cannot exist without cruelty. Courage without fear. You can't have one without the other. Hope cannot exist without despair. Wisdom cannot exist without suffering or trials. And gratitude cannot exist without deprivation. So paradoxes abound in this life. And this is another place where that shows up. So living itself is an exercise of navigating within these spectrums. We can't know one unless we know the other, and we want to shoot for the middle of the spectrum, a balanced life in that way. So while you're maintaining the balance uh, and working in that, say, middle 20% of the progress over perfection spectrum, you're not going to lose clients or revenue. In fact, you'll actually have more time to engage more clients and earn more revenue because you won't be stuck over on the perfectionist end ignoring everything else until it's perfect and you won't be stuck over on the end where there's no activity at all and you don't even have anything you can put in front of a potential client to say yes to you. So tell me, I want to know what resonated the most with you today about this video, about what I shared. There's a fee to every video, especially if you get to the end. And the fee for getting to the end is to comment and let me know what was the number one thing that resonated with you. And be sure you subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date as we release more fresh perspectives for you. You don't want to miss out on our weekly videos. Thanks and see you next time.